How many of you have seen these? A spiral ratchet and screwdriver, otherwise known as an automatic screwdriver or a Yankee screwdriver. Here's an old German made one and I'll be showing you my old American made North Rose Yankee screwdriver just in a minute. But if you haven't seen these before, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a ratchet and screwdriver and you basically just push it and it drives the bit for you. It's quicker than using a hand screwdriver, although it's not as fast as using an impact driver or a drill. Now, the problem with these old ones is the fitting. That's the shank. So that obviously will not fit, or sorry, a modern hex bit, which most of our, most of us are not familiar with, will not fit these. And the bits are more difficult to find than the screwdriver. And there's a few different sizes as well. And normally if you find these, they've either got no bits at all, or if they do, it's a single flat blade. Which most people do not like flat blade screwdrivers. I understand it. I personally love flat flathead screws. But with this one, I've only got one bit. So it's not really all that useful because you are supposed to be able to change the bit. So here's my... This thing's actually an antique. This is somewhere over a hundred years old, this one. The original North Bros. I'm not going to bother trying to show you the markings because it's too dark in here and it's faded. Now, if you look here, I've got an adapter. I do have some original bits, but it was a bit of a hunt. I'm not going to try and pull that off. I've actually got a tin of bits right here. This is a mixture of Yankee screwdriver bits and... Uh, an old hand cracked hammer drill, which we're not looking at today. And out of all these bits, only two of them fit this and none of them fit the other one. So that's a bit of a pain. But if you look here, I've got a modern adapter and I've got another two. None of these fit these two screwdrivers other than this one. I'll just quickly show you what they look like. Now I think these are probably made in China or Taiwan, which for me is a bit of a disappointment because I like to buy German, British, American tools, whatever. So if you have a look there, I'll just take it out of the packet. And these are actually not expensive, they're less than £10 each, so I just bought all three. The website I got this was Axminster. They specialise in hand tools and machines, mostly for woodwork in fact. There's my Axminster table saw. Now you can see the fit in there, it's the exact same, I think you can see it, I actually can't see because of this stupid thing that I'm wearing. You can see the fit in there, and what that allows you to do is use modern screwdriver bits that you would just put in your cordless drill. Same as this, this is a, a new uh, Vera, I think these are great actually, so this is just a ratchet and screwdriver that's got a place for the bits now these at first i thought this was a bit of a gimmick i thought this was a bit stupid you're more likely to hurt yourself and to be honest with the flat blade screws i found that to be the case i have cut myself a few times however with phillips and posi it does actually work quite well and i'm going to demonstrate it right here on this bit of a uh, i think it's spruce it's, it's old growth this is well, this was just a bit of timber that was fly-tipped to the side of the road. Someone was obviously knocking part of their house down. Or her, or had a builder do that, rather. And they just fly-tipped it, and I took it, because this is actually quite a good bit of timber. And I've got a screw in there. Now, like the other screwdrivers, this is also ratcheting, so up is forward, down is backward, the middle is neutral or locked. My one misbehaves a little bit because, I mean, it's 100 years old. I'm surprised it still works. Part of the washer there is actually snapped off. But it does work, it's just a bit loose. I would like to restore it eventually. But how this works is you just twist this collar and it flicks out. And uh, if you want it to, to, to work, you obviously have to put it um, up or down. So I want to remove this screw to demonstrate it. So push it back. Put the bit now you really do need to have the correct size uh, bit for the correct size screw that something that really bothers me is people using the incorrect um 
the incorrect, incorrect bit for the for the screw, especially with flat heads, and they wonder why it doesn't work or why it slides out. Use the right bit and make your life a lot easier. So I'll just demonstrate this. Now that didn't take too long at all. Now that's obviously, as I said, nowhere near as fast as a as a cordless drill or an impact driver, but it's certainly a lot quicker than a screwdriver. I think this is this is pretty great. I'll just put it back in. How long did that take? Like three seconds? I found that this is more useful for actually removing screws than it is putting it in. And you really do have to have the correct size pilot hole. In fact, I'll just show you again here. So I'll just remove this bit. And by the way, one of those... Sorry, that that old screwdriver paired with that modern bit from Axminster. It's made by a company called Lee Valley Tools, I believe. Paired with a Vera bit check. Well, I think you're pretty golden there. So I'll just find the correct size flathead. I think that'll do it. And I'll try the exact same thing on my old number four. I say old. I think this is an 80s plane. Just double check to make sure. Yep, that should be fine. I found that you're better to, to loosen it off first and then release the screwdriver. So I'll put it on reverse again. I'll just quickly release. So I'll just quickly unscrew it just a little bit. How quick was that? I would be careful on certain things. So that's a flat head and it's also brass. So with softer metals, even softer steels, you want to be careful not to strip it out, so don't put too much pressure on it. If you ask me, that works really well. And I'll just tighten up again. With these old planes, I, I, preferably, I, I personally prefer to use a proper screwdriver uh, like this old Stanley. Or better yet, An old turn screw, an old cabinet maker's turn screw. I do love these. Now these, I really do think these are brilliant. You've probably got one in the shed that you forgot about if you're a bit older, or your dad or your granddad probably has one. My granddad actually has a an old uh, Stanley, and I think what I'll do next time I go and visit him is I'll take all three of these. I mean, I paid less than thirty pound for the three of them. I'll take all three. And I'll ask him if he'll let me see his screwdriver. And I'll see if any of them fit. And I'll take note of what number the screwdriver is. And next time I'm at a car boot sale, I'll buy one. You'll pick one of these up for a couple of pounds, if that. You'll probably get one for 50 pence in some areas. In fact, even ones that are in brand new condition on eBay only go for about 20, 30 quid. And that's, one that are, that's ones that are almost brand new. So I'll leave it at that. I hope you found that somewhat interesting like i said at first i thought these things were a bit of a gimmick but they actually work quite well i think where i started off with one of these is i seen one of these at a bicycle uh, repair workshop that i was volunteering at for a little while and i thought that's actually kind of cool i think i'll get one and then i got one and i think what i did was i used it on my chainsaw because the the, the recoil that the starter rope is held on by um the screws are flat ahead, but they're also torques. So with your combi tool um, for adjusting the chainsaw, it's, it's a flat head. So I thought, I'll try that, and it actually worked great. It worked a lot better than the combi tool that comes with the chainsaw. So then I thought, that's bloody useful. I want to get a modern one. So I got the Vera one. I should do a video on this at some point, because this thing's brilliant. Especially with the onboard bit storage. And the very first auction I went to had this thing in it. And it wasn't until recently that I finally decided to get these bit adapters and it works incredibly well. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have one of these, I'd love to know what you think of them, if you love them or hate them. And uh, if you watch this video and decide I actually need one of those in my life, that's pretty cool. Tell me. Oh, and by the way, one last thing before I go, you can actually drill holes with this as well. 
if you use a hex, a hex shank, a hex shank drill bit, such as this here, this one's counter shank, but it works. Yeah, you can use that to drill holes as well. Don't try a spade bit or a fastener bit. You're wasting your time. That's just you'll hurt yourself and break the tool. But yeah, like I said, that works brilliant with these modern screwdriver bits. Thanks, and I'll see you later.